What's good everybody? Welcome back to Northgard. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Kathmandu. And in this episode we're going to continue on with our playthrough of Northgard. So yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far. Man, if you are, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively. So if you could show your support, I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would like to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details. So you go check all that out. Yeah, we want to get that, don't we? Ah! Why are we attacking it? Don't, don't attack it. Got rid of a node though, that's a bit of a pain. Uh, we need to hurry up and colonise this. The back, son. That's a bit of a... Ah, that's, I don't like that. Oh, I didn't do this one first either. Damn it! Let's do that. Uh, let's build a mine. Right next to it if we can. Let's get a builder over here ASAP. We've only got one node, which is real, real bad. We've got three there. Try and colonise that one next. We've done that one. We need to hurry up, son. Yeah, we'll try and colonise that one next. What do we like for people? Okay. Got another attack there soon. We need to hurry up. We're not too far away from the from the goal. We're nearly halfway there, so. Hopefully you can hurry up and get this built. Two months before. Oh no, I oh, know. Go on, son. Right, you. Get in there. Let's get another one in here. Go, 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 go. Put these right over here. Just get ready. We're a bit short on uh, people at the moment. <clears throat> We've still got our uh, boar guild, but obviously we lost the, the bear, which is a shame. You try and colonise that as well. Soon. Any minute now. Gonna get the fight. I'm ready. I don't care at the moment. Shut, shut your mouth. <laughs> I don't care about the people at the moment. I'm trying to get this uh, rhyme steel. Attack. I'm gonna try and highlight my guys. Because obviously as soon as they start getting hurt, I'm gonna fall back. Okay, at the moment. You need to fall back as well, bro. You're not them two. No, not you. Go, you fall back. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Recover, Jesus. Fall back. What? Okay. Oh no! Lucy can't do anything about it. I need a warrior. Let's recolonize it. Oh, no, 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 don't. Cancel. Oh, there's no more nodes there. Better off just leaving it. Let's. Ah, oh, Jesus. Let's get them up there. Might as well just leave that. Uh, we've lost all the nodes there, so three nodes there. We'll grab them. So I'm trying at least heal up first. I'm 
Okay, let's have a look at this. Permanent increases population growth speed by 25%. You gain an additional 504 months for each unit from your clan killed by an enemy clan. Your non sick clan members heal during winter in allied territory. Okay, let's do that one. That's not a bad one. I'll tell you what, let's colonize this. Try and get a mine set up straight away. Villager up here. We've got three nodes there, okay. Let's come up here. We can still heal because this is now our area, so. About 26 or 40. Okay, we're doing alright. Hurry up and get this built. There's no way of like fending them off. That's the problem. Builders with no workers. The forge. Yeah, we need that. The worm slayer. Waiting on. Uh, get in there then. Another villager in there. Get two on it. Where are you going? Go for this one. My god, what a waste of time that is. That's what I put it here for. Go for these. What are you doing over there, you silly man? Two months for the attack, okay. Yeah, you got a hell of a trick. That's the problem. Not good, man. Not good. What's this? Clan members without a job. Is he not like scouting? Right, you can come back then. Sod scouting. Leave scouting for now. Oh, we're sitting pretty at 31 at the moment. 80%. Come on. Yeah, don't. Shush. Shush out. I don't think we really need to scout anymore. Fight! Wow. Head out. Get out, ball kid. I don't lose you, son. Head out, boys. Workers, head out. Oh, we lost two workers again. Damn. Crazy, man. We're nearly there. 91%. So what's going to happen is that's going to reclaim. That will start burning down. We'll just send another worker in to repair it. Got rid of a node. Okay, we'll have to recolonize it. Send a worker up to here. Get him done quick. There we go. Come repair it. Send another worker up. There we go. Now you can... Go back in there. You guys can come back here. Villager can get back on mining. Beautiful. 37. Oh, come on. 38. That'll be 39. And then that'll be 40. So that should be done. And then what we'll do is we'll get, we'll get everyone out of there. We don't need more than 40, so. Just needs to get back. Yeah, we have enough rhyme steel to start forging the worm slayer. Forge the worm slayer. Right, let's get a villager into there.
Get one out. Let's get you two back as... Just don't, don't need to mine anymore. Uh, let me get... Let me just wait. You lot, get out of there, man. Destroy it. Sorry, I don't want it. Come back. <clears throat> Want two forge people, please? Okay, I want two of you forging. Yeah, hopefully if two of them are doing it, it'll be quicker. Let's go back to here. Oh, I've not got no fishermen going, though. Let's do that one. You guys can fight if you want. I ain't fighting. No, no need. Reach the runestone of Asgard and decipher its ruins. Forge the Worm Slayer. Where you're under attack. Well, that's more for you guys. You don't even need to be doing that. Nearly there. 60%. 10 stone upgrade it. Okay. Let's come back. No, yeah, don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll lose it. Doesn't matter. We're crafting this now. Forge the Worm Slayer. So hopefully we can get this. And we'll see what happens next, I guess. The Worm Slayer is to complete. There we go. Oh, got a bear back. <laughs> is that it? That big sword? Woo! Okay, ok, it was about time. Now I get to live up to my family's tradition of slaying Rimgandar, whatever. Oh boy, I can't wait. This ought to make us famous for sure. I cannot lie, I am indeed a tad excited, but mostly terrified. <laughs> Let's do it. Excited indeed, I cannot wait to be chewed alive. Shut up, Liv. Let's go. Wait. Yeah. Oh, we got our bear back, which is nice. Um, can I get reach the runestone of Asgard and decipher its ruins? Bring the home guard down using the worm slayer. Okay. Where are my soldiers? Up here? Okay, you stay there. You two. No, can I not? No. Oi, oi, oi. Ah, there he is. Let's go. Yeah, we don't need to be... Stop. Why are they just floating around? Bear's dead. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with... Seems like I'm not getting hurt. Nearly killed it. There we go. Ha ha! I feel relieved. See, Piggy? The beastie's dead. I think I'll need a bigger fireplace, though. Tis a big one. Hmm? 
Strange, the air suddenly became slightly warmer. My ancestors used to say killing a harem guard could hasten spring. Maybe that's why winters were getting harsher in the region. Mm -hmm. Svan, the only thing left to do is uh, decipher the runestone of Asgard. Yes, let us see what truth the runes have to tell us. Let's do it. Yes, done it. Chapter nine completed. We had finally reached the runestone of Asgard. Whoever Vedrum was, his actions seemed to be foretold by the old scriptures etched in the stone. Svarn translated. He will want to set the men free from the yoke of the All Father, for he does not want them to share in his feast, and to this end he will destroy Bifrost. As the wail of Yallarhun echoes through the skies, the sons of Muspel will march on Asgard. Thus the gods shall meet their fate, and the age of men shall begin, Svarn concluded thoughtfully. There was no map to Bifrost on the runestone, but one stanza read that it was beyond Bergelmir's throat. This was a kenning, a metaphor for the icy cliffs far to the north. Okay. So yeah, like I've said before, I love the guy's narration. He's obviously, because he sounds Scandinavian, he can sort of pronounce the, the words perfectly. Um, so yeah, he's, he's actually, I really do appreciate that they've actually got what sounds like a Scandinavian to do the narration. It's really authentic, it's really good. Um, so what are we on now? Chapter 10, Fimble, what's that? Fimble Vinta. That's what I mean, I can't do it. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. That's what it says to me anyway. <laughs> we have reached Bergamir's throat, the narrow pass opening um, on uh, Bifrost. Winter seems to know no end here. Bonus objective will we believe. Right, okay, select a bannerman. Um it depends what we're doing though, doesn't it? I don't even know what we're doing. You start with that. Oh. Food and firewood penalties in winter are reduced by 30%. Ha. Huh. I think because we're in the winter, I don't know if that's a good thing. I might do her again. Because she has this winter thing. Food and firewood penalties in winter are reduced by 30%. I think we definitely got to go for that one. As we neared Bergelmir's throat, we were greeted by an eternal winter. Borgil called it Fimbulwinter. And that alone was one of our mightiest foes yet. But as the Norns would have it, something much deadlier than cold and starvation was lurking in the freezing mist. Okay. I'm glad I chose the uh, the winter one then. It's constantly cold. We're going to need that penalty reduced. Penalty is reduced by 30%, so that's nice. You said it was getting warmer, Hal uh, Halvard. I stand corrected. Clearly not. Good thing we have better clothes now. So speak for yourself, good golden bubba boy. This is Fimble Winter. Fimble, what now? The eternal winter, love. Which means we are never going to get past this here wall of ice. Okay. So what now? Is this the end of the road? No, eternal is a poetic license not to be taken literally. Fimble Winter is an extremely harsh and long winter that is supposed to last several years. The legends say it is a harbinger of Ragnarok. If they are to be believed, uh, Verdrung might be close to achieving his goal. Then we only have to wait for the return of spring. Then we may not look forward to spring after all. What the hell? The blizzard has lifted. What are those wretched figures? A frightful sight indeed. Luckily they are frozen solid, but you are right, Hulgard. If the wall is bound to thaw, so are they. What a peculiar feeling. We use uh, we usually dread the coming of winter, not its end. Berglamer's throat is a funnel-shaped gorge, and we are 
on its broad end, I suggest we spread out our settlements to weaken the impact of the attack. A reasonable solution, that way no one will bear the full brunt of the assault. Burgild and I will defend the middle. Hey. Rig, Halvgard, uh, Halv uh, Halvard will protect our right flank as you command. And live the left one. Understood. Then it is settled. Let us gather as many resources as we can and prepare to resist the charge when Fimblevinter ends. Okay, so we've got to wait for Fimblevar to end four years. Survive the frozen army of the dead. The great winter will last several years. Wait for spring to melt the great ice wall. Brace yourself for when the army of the dead will thaw out. Protect your allies for you are stronger together. I'm protecting them. Fools. Fool. Right, okay, we, well, we need to start off with our basic necessities, don't we? Which is a woodcutter. Straight off the bat. Woodcutter's lodge can go here. Need to get some wood. Food's alright, to be fair. Yeah, we should be alright in the winter. We shouldn't have that much of an impact on our stuff. So there we go, we've got a spring. Okay, we'll get, we'll get that going. We, got, we can build five buildings. Defense tower might be nice. That doesn't even class as a building as well, so that's quite nice. I'm going to do a military camp. Get a military camp going so I can get some army together. Two more buildings. Let's have a look. Maybe a house for more people. One more. Healer's hut, maybe. So on a quick look, yeah, healer's hut maybe, we can get a dock, what would that do though, sailor loots crowns and law, mm. don't know if we're really going to need that, we're in like a gully, we can't really get round to there can we, what are you building, a scout camp, woodcutter's lodge, maybe we get a scout camp down then, Seems like something you just build. Let's go camp there. Right, let's get some villagers. Don't worry about food for now. Food's alright, we've got a plus two. Okay, we need to get the scamp. Yeah, we need to get the scout going. And then we'll try and scout up here. Okay, they're already growing. Nice. Need to scout some areas first, see what's around. See, food's alright, wood's alright now. Coins are good. Could get a couple of fighters, but obviously I'm going to wait just for the villagers to sort of come in a little bit more. Have a look what's here some stone okay, what's here what's that is that a wolfie it looks like a deer I think so we've got some stone there that's literally about it stone will be good for upgrading though I want to scout here as well just live is that live live has organized a feast oh that helps all of us nice thank you live okay so we've got Food there and a law. Okay, what about over here? <clears throat> I'm just thinking what we're going to need. We've got stone. So we've got stone there. We've got food and a rune stone for law. What do we got down here? Try and scout the area a little bit. So it lives right there. Probably setting up a fisherman hut. Yeah, beautiful. Scout getting some work done. Okay, so we've got some fish there as well. That'll be food. Yeah, do there. Right. <clears throat> so where do we want to colonise? Got food or law. Just food. Or stone. I think I'm going to colonise here first. Because that will actually be handy. That will give us extra food. And it will give us um, law as well. Which obviously law we can unlock stuff quicker. 
which is handy. Scouts explored a new area. That's oh, they've got iron there. Uh, can we go? Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Right, so we now own this area. So now from here we can do a hunting lodge. I want things quite close. I think hunting lodge there. A villager on it. Just bring in food. I could get a villager. Come and do this law. We'll get extra law. Start unlocking stuff. I think. We can do a food silo in here as well. And store the extra food, so we'll get that, get that in that corner there. Then we'll have one more, which I might do another house possibly. We can get another house down, we can get more people. Obviously, I'm starting to get more buildings now, so obviously, like, they, they need working. I'll tell you what. You're a... Oh, you're a woodcutter. Okay. I'll get you to build that, and then if you can for me, go on to hunting. And that will help. Nearly got some law. That's actually quite handy, that's been. Because that will help us. Right, can you go here? And can I get you to go here as well? Get two hunters, that'll that'll keep food going. Gain one happiness per area with at least one military camp. Okay, happiness is okay for now. During winter, food production losses reduced by 50%. Happiness is increased by three and crowns earned from trade routes increased. Okay, that's quite good. The non sick clamum is healed during winter in allied territory. We have got fish. Food gain, food silos gain a 10% food. Gain. I might go here. This will be a good route to go down first, I think. Increase your civilian's attack and your defense tower's resistance by third. That's a good route to go down as well, to be fair. We've got plenty of time, though. We're only still only in year one, so. I think the next place I want to get is this one. I want to get some stone so I can upgrade. I uh, should be able to develop this area for more coins as well. Because um, I'm thinking if I can develop this area, I may get a uh, a longship dock. Because I can get crowns, law, and fame. They'll spend crowns, that'll earn crowns, but we can raid crowns from that. So if we develop this area, and if we can build a dock... There. So we've got food going, laws going, we've got extra food capacity there. Uh, we have got fishing down here if we need extra food, so that's an extra food source. I do want to try and get this stone though. It'll be quite nice. We've got iron there. Uh, we've got some wolves sitting there, but that's not they're not too bad. They are spreading down here nicely. Getting up a trading post, nice. What are you guys doing over here? Oh wow. You got a trading post set up. Yeah, so if I get the long if I get the dock going, because obviously I'm the only one near water. If I can get that cracking. Right, we're we're full on people now. I think we're best to colonise this now. We get some villagers in here. How many does this take exactly? Two, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Put two in there. We don't need the villagers for the food. We're getting enough food. We can get law or sailors will fight for fame. Or law. Go for law. Got another one going. Boom. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I think we're okay for now, aren't we? So I'm just thinking whether we go down this route. Reduce the amount of food necessary to colonize one area. Eradicate food. We'll do that one. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So even though it's like super cold now in the winter, we're still on pluses, which is nice. Right, so we've now colonised this area. So let's get a mine up. Mine there. So I'm just thinking, obviously, we need to mine stone so we can upgrade stuff. I need to upgrade this first. It's going to cost 10. Then I could upgrade that for 5. Depends how much stone's here. 30. Okay, that's nice. <clears throat> we do have iron there as well. So that will give us, if we make a forge, we can upgrade our tools. So that will be nice. Um, but unfortunately, guys, I have run out of time in this episode. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively. So if you could show your support, I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would like to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details. So you go check all that out. Uh, if you guys would like to hit that notification bell as well, then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well. We cannot lodge an additional village. Yeah, that's okay, we'll sort that. Um, and yeah, so yeah. until the next time, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Peace out. <laughs>